everybody. Randy Daytona here. Ah, just toasting another country cast, looking badass as ever. New hair, the same nice physique I've always had. Keep it, keep it real tight all the time. Take good care of this body. And uh, do y'all own one of these? Look at that. Get you some. Frame Billy Ray Cyrus photo right here. Sign. Yep. As soon as you sell this thing, get you a case of beer. That's how much it's worth right here. That's right. Uh-huh. Name one person who's more badass than this guy right here. I can tell you one. It's Blake Shelton. You know why? Because he's actually growing his mullet back. No, but seriously, Blake Shelton is really growing his mullet back, and it's freaking awesome. I mean, just look at that thing. It looks fantastic in its initial stages. Even Blake's face says it all. Yeah, I'm, I'm growing a mullet. What about it? This photo was uploaded to Twitter by Blake Shelton uh, after some adjustments were made. Uh, Gwen actually cut some stripes into it right there. You see it's paying a little, little homage there to Jared Allen's mullet. He had some stripes in his too, so any Minnesota Vikings... Uh, fans out there know what I'm talking about, but it looks really good for the initial initial stage. Here's another photo as you see Gwen kind of messing with the uh, The flow in the back as we all know that's that's where the party happens up front looks pretty good looks looks real business All business right there nice and short so looks good for the beginning stages there Blake if I do say so myself Now y'all may have seen an earlier tweet this month by Blake Shelton talking about how he decided to bring the mullet back during quarantine and it was not only his decision but that he and Gwen Stefani both agreed that he needed to grow his mullet back and Blake Shelton wanted his mullet to be a symbol of hope for people and again uh, I must say in its early stages it looks very very majestic. We all know Blake can grow a really good mullet like we've seen in his earlier days but you know while we're on the subject here are some other guys who grow a pretty fantastic mullet themselves and uh, of course the competition still remains. You got Billy Ray Cyrus, Joe Diffie, Toby Keith, and of course the newest member to the Mullet Club, Morgan Wallen. So that's just to name a few. So uh, Blake definitely does still have some competition there in the, the mullet category. And I know this might just be an idea for quarantine times, but maybe when Blake gets you know, to reschedule his shows or get back to The Voice, he'll, he'll actually keep it. So after hearing all this, I gotta ask this question. Who do y'all think has had the best mullet ever in country music? Let us know down below in the comments. That will be it for today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn those notifications on for breaking updates on your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.